welcome to Dragonfly Trading. My name is Carrie. I'm a full-time trader and also a mentor for struggling traders. Today's video is going to be an update on Bitcoin. We're going to take a look at the bull and the bear scenarios. If you are interested in learning how to navigate these markets yourself without having to look at anyone else's analysis, the link is in the description below for my course. It is definitely for beginning traders and also for advanced traders. Okay, so we're on Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. We have several things to talk about. The first thing we need to talk about is Bitcoin needs to reclaim the 21 moving average, this white moving average, at approximately 62K. Now, it doesn't matter if you use the 20 or the 21, it's in the general area. Bitcoin needs to reclaim 62,000. On the weekly RSI, currently, Bitcoin is holding in the bullish zone. The bullish zone is between 40 and 50. This is where Bitcoin really needs to pivot on the weekly time frame and move to the upside, pushing through the 70 zone. 60 to 70 is the bullish resistance zone. It needs to get itself back up in this bullish area, like it pushed up here in these locations. Also, we would like to see Bitcoin close with a reversal candle. As it stands right now, this is a good looking reversal candle. Now, if Bitcoin wants to go higher and put more of a body on this candle, that would be fine. But we need this wick to remain. All right, let's talk about the bullish scenario first. The bullish scenario is that Bitcoin is currently putting in its fourth wave or this low is its fourth wave. We want Bitcoin to recover pushing through the 618 at 62,000 and continue to the upside making a fifth wave. If Bitcoin is able to do this, once it's complete, we wanna see Bitcoin correct on top of the all-time highs. If this is not the low of the fourth wave, Bitcoin can afford to roll over one more time. I would like to see this yellow channel held, but the line in the sand is the 0.5 retrace sitting at 42,877. That is this correction of the lower degree three and four. Breaking this area would be a market structure break, and it would also break the higher highs and higher lows that Bitcoin is currently holding. So to summarize that up, I would really like to see this be the low and Bitcoin push up for a fifth wave, reclaiming 62K. But if it does roll over, the line in the sand is 42,877, this correction right here. Okay, so we're going to talk about the bear case. And to explain what I'm talking about, we're going to take a look at the SPX. As you can see, in prior corrections, the SPX has made expanding corrections. An expanding correction is when a rally for a connector ends up being a B wave. This is its A wave of three waves, and then it has a sell-off that either takes the low of the A wave or it doesn't. This is what is called the expanded B pocket. Let's take a look where the SPX is now. As you can see, it came right up into the expanded B pocket in a movement that very much looks corrective. If the SPX fails to hold 4950 and it comes through this correction here, that will be a market structure break. So it is a very must that the SPX holds 4950. If it fails and comes through this correction, I will expect this leg to put in a partner. 
that will either break this low or make a higher low. Now let's take a look at Bitcoin. This move in the middle would be a three wave move. This would be a B wave or an X. We won't know until this leg gets going. This correction would be this correction here. If Bitcoin bounces in a connector and is not able to get over the 618, it would be this connector in the middle. This correction would get a partner. That would start this leg, this entire leg, getting a partner to the downside. It would bounce again in a higher degree connector. And then this entire leg would need a partner. Now, Bitcoin would either protect this low or it may take it out and we don't know until we get some more price action. But the key to all of this is if Bitcoin can stay above this correction. Breaking it will be our absolute confirmation that this leg is getting a partner. So let's take a look at the correction we have so far. We have a three wave leg. Right now, Bitcoin needs to reclaim the 618 sitting at approximately 61,300. And it needs to do it in a five wave move. The possible scenarios is that it bonks its head and rejects and it rolls over, giving this leg a partner to the downside. An alternative scenario is that it makes a bigger connector, meaning that we get three waves, three waves, three or five waves, and it makes a bigger connector. If it were to do that, then this entire leg would get a partner. So to summarize that up simply, if Bitcoin is not able to get over the 618, and immediately rolls over, breaking this low. It will be giving this leg a partner. If it consolidates and gives a bigger connector, it will be giving this entire correction a partner to the downside. All right, so how can Bitcoin make this happen? Well, off of these lows, we would have to call this a diagonal which would either be a wave one or an A wave. This pullback would be our B wave or wave two. At this point, this little wave right here needs to be a wave one and a two. So our invalidation right now is the low of this candle. Bitcoin absolutely needs to continue to the upside and continue pushing up to the 618 at 71,000, making a third wave. This is where it can also fail as a C wave. And how will you know? Well, it will make a five wave move and then it will reject coming through its prior fourth wave. That will be your clue that it is a C wave instead of an impulse wave. Anywhere along the way, it can reject at any one of these extensions and put in a C wave. The goal is to continue up, putting in a third, a fourth, and then a fifth to the upside, making an impulse wave. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one.